So how did you start out then? Did you start out doing video content and then just start going into MMA? Like what? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started MMA, I'd just been fighting since I was like fucking seven. Okay. I just wanted to fight. I just fought my whole life. And then obviously when you when you retire from fighting, like there's nothing to fall back on. Like you go all into something, there's nothing there. Like you, you I, I lived in the back of the gym, gym for 10 years. Like I I'd sacrificed my whole life for fighting and then had a fractured back. And then one day I woke up and went, fuck. I've got nothing from this. Like I have to find some way to monetize it, some way to coach, some way to actually create a future for myself. So it was up to me to then find a solution. And that came from creating content and coaching clients online, um, which worked out thankfully, but it was you know, quite a hard path. It's not for me. people, that's what I say to people like this new, I, I speak from the experience of not actually having to achieve my goal. So you can go down two paths. You can go down the easy path and not go towards your goals and just live a normal life. Or you can go down and take the risk and the challenge. And even if you go down the challenge route, like you'll still end up in better place than what you will do than if you took the easy route. So you might not achieve your goal. If you go towards your goal, you might not achieve it, but you're still better off than if you took the easy route. You're still gonna end up somewhere and that somewhere is gonna be better because it's not crowded. So quite lucky in that respect. What about you? Why did you get into uh, coaching? Various reasons, man. Um, I just wanted to help more people. I think the main thing for me was just not um, allowing others to struggle like I did. And I've always, I shared this on a podcast the other day. Um, there's like an innate drive for me to help people. I don't know where it comes from. Maybe from my dad, maybe from my mum, I don't know. But there was an innate drive in me to help other people and I kind of naturally gravitated towards that mechanism and in turn came across coaching which for me was a great way to monetize and a great way to help other people um, how I found my niche was obviously a combination of fixing myself as I was saying earlier on um, but I never intended to become a performance coach or a sleep coach or anything I just wanted to help other people and I naturally had people when I was a manager in my old job you know working in motor trade I naturally had people kind of confide in me and Asked me for guidance. You know, rather than seeing me as a boss, it was someone I could, they could come and talk to, and you know, what do you think about this? What do you think I should do here? And I never asked for that. It was yeah. just weird. It's okay. just something that people. Yeah. Um, they are road close. Okay. Yeah. No worries. That's fine. Yeah. It's just around the corner. Yeah. yeah. It's literally just around the corner. That's cool. After you, sir. Oh, fuck, sir.